Okay, YouTube, this is John Hendrick, and this is the video on the Leica QP. I did one on the MT40, but I know it's time to do the... I said I was going to keep going down the lineup. Today is Leica QP, so let's get into it. Okay, so Leica QP. This is it. Check it out. Matte black, fixed lens, small, compact. Um... So it's a 24 megapixel camera. Uh, like I said, a fixed lens, 28 millimeter, 1.7. So it's the Sumalux lens. Um, the QP is, uh, like I said, the matte black with the white script and that's kind of the signature piece. Comes with this cool leather strap that as it wears down, like right now, mine's pretty worn down, super soft. I like it. Um, also comes with two batteries. I think those are the big things between the QP and the regular Q. Um, one of the fun facts on the QP is this macro feature, right? So you click on macro and then you can take some kind of macro shots. I think that's cool because if you're going to go out and shoot, you can, um, with the wide lens, you can get, obviously get a very, um, you can get a picture with a lot of information. Uh, and then you obviously can get closer and hone in on specific parts and then even do the macro piece and get the real details. For example, if I'm taking a picture of like a church, right? Um, get the whole church, cool, wide enough to do that. Uh, go in close, maybe get the doorway or something. And then for the final detailed shot, uh, maybe the handles on the church or the bricks or some, some kind of real fine detail. Um, I think that's cool. I think that's why uh, I think it's, you know, pretty easy um, Versatile camera to have Okay, so let's go over There's a lot of YouTube videos out there on the Q or the QP um, But I'll just go over a couple of things. So obviously like all like a fashion in, in true traditional like a fashion um, Aperture ring, right? Uh, focus ring, focus tab, right? It's kind of stiff, but it's, it's all right. Uh, and then the speed bell on top. Now what I like about the QP is um, you can go full auto on the aperture. You can go auto focus on the focusing tab. And then you can go aperture priority on the speed dial. So that's kind of cool. So you can go full auto if you want to. And then, you know, if you want to get back to the basics, you know, switch it back over, set your aperture to what you want, shoot it, you know, get the focusing tab going, set up your own time. I mean, you speed dial to whatever ISO you got set up. Um, and then it also has the focal distance on it. So you can go back to like shooting like that if you like. So I think that's really cool. Like I said, small, compact, um, easy on the eyes, um, amazing lens, 1.7, wide open, super sharp. And let's see, what else is good on this camera? Well, if you look now, right, you can find, you, well, how, you'll be pressed to find the QP brand new at a Leica store. You may find one or two, uh, but, the big sellers now are the Q2. You got the Q2 and you got the Q2M, the monochrome. I'm talking about this one used, I've seen it for like 3,200 bucks. And uh, the Q2 is a little over six. And I mean, this Q2 is a little over five and the Q2M is a little over six. Just give you an idea. It's about up, you know, anywhere from 2,000 to $2,500 difference in between the three cameras. Um, the Q2 lineup, so the Q2 or the Q2 monochrome, 47 megapixel, the weather sealed, a couple more features. Um, the Q2 monochrome, obviously black and white um, only. So that's what's cool about that one. Um, if I can get any of the monochromes, I would. They're all amazing. But for now, this is my small, compact, easy to use go-to camera. Would I recommend it? I think so, if you can get a good price. Uh, I would, I would strongly recommend it. 
obviously it for the budget that's a whole other conversation but if you have the money and you have the means and you can find a good one out there uh, with CLA you know currently clean lubricated and adjusted I would say I would definitely advise to get it it's a pretty cool camera like a QP get it if you can uh, I guarantee you'll have fun with it that's all I got uh, next videos will be we're gonna roll into film but that's it from my two digitals the M240 if you haven't seen that already I did a review on it check it out uh, and then this is obviously the like a Q lineup thanks for sticking around Appreciate it. If you got like a cue or if you were thinking of looking at one, um, please, you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you have one, if you like it, if you don't like it. And um, I think I'll post some pictures at the end of this. I did it last time with the 240. I'll do it again just so you can get an idea of what the film quality looks like. But it's, they're going to be good. So I'll throw up some colors and some black and white. Stick around if you want to see that. Thanks again. See you next time. I always forget. No affiliation. No sponsorships. Uh, definitely not sponsored by Leica. Uh, that is my own camera. I purchased it as long as well as the M240. They didn't send it to me. No reviews or nothing. This is all just me speaking from my experience of having a camera for a little over, oh, going on two years, maybe a little over two years. So, boom. There you go. Thanks.